we're doing. We want to figure out why it sounds cool. So instead of playing these big standard chords that we do, if you do a little bit of theory, or you just Google and just be, what notes are available in this area? Open strings, look for open strings. So even in a G chord, you get this version which has the four fingers, or you get this version which has the three, which means there's three open strings in there. Then the C chord, that has the same open string, the third one, and this one. We have at least uh, four strings available that we can figure out just by playing those two chords. All the notes of the scale and all the notes that you need are in that same area. So what we want to try and do is just play the root note. Start on maybe another note of the chord. Steal notes from the C. I know that's in the C because it's there, so I might steal that, but I know this open string is available as well. Now it's a C major seven. We don't need to, we don't care about that. If it sounds cool, it is cool. Because of the melody, da, 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 and I wanna go bar. I wanna land there in my brain, the way my melody brain works. blues we're in the key of G so now I've got a G chord with one finger so you can think of it as like playing in front of the root note so you put your first finger here and you've got a you can wiggle around these notes Google neck diagram give me all the notes of G major and you don't have to use your brain too much so uh, then you can change your fingers to here so now you have available notes behind the root note change to that finger or that finger whatever you want to do so just with this one root note you've got three frets behind it three or four frets or five depending on if you have mega stretchy hand uh, so what we want to try and do is just even try and think of like um, singing a melody play the chords record them on your phone or something and just I'm not a singer, but I sing in my head a lot. Um... for you two chord two chords not four two chords um, G and a C it's been used and abused since the beginning of time cavemen we're doing it I swear to God so in this case I chose major so now you look at the chords oh, sorry you look at the scale within the area thank you Google and you just sit there and you muck around play the root note the scale with the root note sometimes what I find is notes will speak to me this may sound weird goodbye for those <laughs> who just left um, it may sound weird but when I play that doesn't speak to me yeah that does because it's a major third and I've heard it a billion times it's interesting as soon as something speaks to me when I do this I randomly do it I've known it for 25 years, but I still do this. That, that's telling me something. That's saying, ooh, ooh. And now I've just written an idea because 
at this point in time, that spoke to me. So I've got a groove. Instead of just playing like, oh guys, I've got a song. No, you don't, you have a G chord. But this. I can't remember what I played before, so I'm just making it up. And so now that's kind of like a C chord, like I was doing before, I've got my ears are tuned to G and C now. Is this making sense? I hope so. So the idea is just to explore a scale and the chords that you're playing with, or one chord, get used to it. Techniques, it doesn't matter, but the idea is exploring. That's the scale up to G. The rest of it's just an octave higher. I just realized this is going for almost eight minutes. I probably lost you about seven and 45 seconds ago. Try that, give it a go. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Let me know how you, how you think. Let me know what you think about how I went.